So one thing that I have found, and this is where I want to be, our agreement has to be simply that nothing will stop us, period. If you don't start there, you have to start there. And if you have to start there, then what you've also just said is the shadow is not going to stop me. Because if you don't start there, then what happens is every time we don't step up, every time we don't do what we said we were going to do, every time we don't show up in integrity, we always come up with the idea that there's probably another shadow. Which is, I think, a shadow. <laughs> and there's an infinite regress. A layer of bullshit in the shadow. Yes. So the first thing we have to all come to the conclusion of is don't let the shadow make you a victim. We agreed not to be victims. And if you have enough awareness and if you have enough will and if you have enough purpose, you're going to do it. And if you have awareness of the shadow, you're going to do it. And if you have awareness of the pattern, then you're not going to victimize the shadow. You're either going to figure out a way to take care of it or you're going to keep going. There is a real paradox in there that if we set ourselves up with this idea that the shadow is something real and it's something problematic and it's something that we all have and this we have layers of and we can never know and the only know how only way we can know is when we're not in integrity and not stepping up then we've built in a reason to not be in integrity and not step up at every single stage of our life and that's problematic Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Bullshit to me. Right. So again, the, 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 the metacognitive view is it's, 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 it's not either or, it's both and. Yes, you got fucking shadows. So what? Get busy. <laughs> and we'll take care of them in the process. But at a certain point, we got to quit using it as a reason that we're not doing something because that, that can go on forever. It feels, it feels like a paradox if you see things in an either or. So what's the source of the shadow of apathy? The source, well, and we also have to be careful about how we're using the term shadow, right? So is everything that we don't like a shadow, Let, let's define it first, right? Because that's not a definition I would even use. Well, okay, what's the source of apathy? Okay, that's a whole different question. I like right. the second one better, that's the one I meant to ask. Yeah. No, it's important though, that I'm just, what I'm pushing into is defining terms and not letting words take on a life of their own and hijack what we really need to do. And so we, it, it, and so we could, for instance, frame if we said apathy is a shadow, and we all have shadows. I have a shadow, therefore I'm ap apathetic, and therefore it's okay for me to be apathetic because I have a shadow. Right? You understand this? Mm -hmm. So the source of apathy is a different conversation to me than shadow. The source of apathy is derived from, uh, from not being a well, at apathy in. I'm going to speak to apathy primarily in our demographic because it's created, it's a four quadrant affair, right? Four dimensional affair. But I'm going to speak to it in the green meme. And I think that apathy within the green meme, apathy and cynicism are kind of coupled in the green stage of development. And Apathy has built there because we have not found find a way to produce inordinate amounts of meaning and purpose to drive us out of apathy, one, and two, 
because of the fracturing of postmodernity, because of the disdain for the evolutionary drive, the progress of modernity, we got flat. It's flat. It's the flattest stage in existence. And so we become apathetic simply because, because we can, because we don't have any drive. We don't have any strive drive. We don't have any purpose. We don't have the kind of meaning that we really should have. And we procrastinate. We're in that transition. Most of our, someone took care of all of our survival needs for us, right? You're not apathetic when you're living in a predator-rich environment and you have to hunt for your food and you have to defend yourself from tigers. You're not apathetic, but someone did that for you. And we haven't grown into that ridiculous sense of purpose and meaning and evolution and letting ourselves be consumed. You know, we just fight it. So I want to be careful about letting things, we have free will, we got to go from that standpoint, and we have, I don't think we can, we can just let ideas like the word apathy gives me permission to be apathetic because I'm apathetic. Because I'm apathetic, I get to be apathetic. Right? I mean, one answer is don't be apathetic. Care more than that. How do I do that? Do the work. How do I do the work? I'm too apathetic. Okay, I can't help you. I mean it. I mean, that's, what, that's the conversation. If a client tells me I'm too apathetic to get in my car, drive to your practice, and lay down on your table, I'm going to say, good luck. It doesn't get easier than this. God help you. <laughs> There's no way out until you quit using it as an excuse. Right? Right. I mean, what if I just said, well, I'm too lazy. I can't help it. It's a shadow. I'm just too lazy. Well, there's a, there's a point where we're creating conditions that there's no way out of. And we have to believe enough that we have some sense of free will. I used to tell clients that. And I said, do I have to believe in this? Well, you have to believe in it enough to, you know, put your car keys in the same spot every morning so you can get to my office on time. Maybe you're too apathetic for that. If so, I, you know, my door's closed at 8.30. I'm <laughs> what, what do you say, you know? You're just, you, 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 there has to be some will in there that's willing to at least take steps to, to move out of it. If that's not there, there just isn't anything you can do. So you don't think apathy is based on the accumulation of shadow material that you haven't addressed? Not really. I think apathy is part of the postmodern condition. I think we're lazy. I think we're entitled. I think we're spoiled, and I think apathy is part of that. I don't think we want to do fucking anything we don't want to do. I think that's what apathy is for most postmodern people. It's entitlement. Masquerading as apathy. And to say it's a shadow, reduce a shadow to saying absolutely everything in the world is a shadow. Right? We could define shadow, under those terms, we could define absolutely anything as a shadow. 
I don't want to brush my teeth in the morning. Oh, it's a shadow. What's that? Resignation. Is it the same as resignation, like I'm resigning myself not to do something? Yeah. In some sense, right. There has to be something has to turn on in there that cares enough, right? We can't just say, I'm apathetic because I have a shadow. I think it just boils down to, like, you know, we have to do the work. We have to make progress to be able to serve. Mm -hmm. And we want to understand why, what's, what are the obstacles to that and what we can do about it. It, it can't just be like, you just have to work and if you're not, then you're lazy. That's, yeah. that's overly simplistic. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is it? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> and how is this for overly simplistic? I get to do whatever I want to do, and if I, and if anyone challenges on me, I, I tell them I have a shadow. But, the, but I don't think that anybody here is coming to that conclusion. Really? Yeah. I'm hearing you coming to that conclusion. <laughs> no, I, want, I, I just want an explanation for, for why obstacles exist and how we can overcome them. Well, I'm giving you one. Do the work. Just do it. Is, I mean... Do, if, if do the work isn't going to suffice, suffice, God help you. <laughs> what, <laughs> what else is there, right? But what is the work? Seven. What's the shadow portion of the work is what Summit I'm trying six to ask. And seven. Summit 6 and 7. But what you're calling a shadow is not a shallow. What I'm, calling, what I'm saying it is is just laziness and entitlement. And so we have a different opinion of what a shadow actually is. What is the shadow for you? All right. I'll get there, but I want to work with this first, because I, I specifically defined it in a whole chapter of my book. Now, I'm not saying that's the only definition. There are other definitions, right? There's many, many, many other, all the way creeping into everything that any behavior we don't like in ourselves, we can call a shadow. There's that definition, which starts to take on a certain meaninglessness.